What's good, everybody? Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to distribute with radicals. I'm going to explain this in two very simple rules. So the two rules that we're talking about for today's lesson is multiply, simplify, and add. So what exactly do I mean? So when we multiply, we're going to multiply our radicals with coefficients and radicals with radicals. So when we multiply a radical with a coefficient, we're just going to combine them, all right? And they're going to act like a coefficient and variable. So radical 15 times 2 is going to give me 2 radical 15, okay? That's how we multiply those two together. Now, once we go back and we do repeat this step, but now we distribute radical 15 to radical 5, now we just multiply those two numbers and keep it under the same radical. So we'll have radical 75. So now we've multiplied, right? That was the first step. Second step is to simplify and add if possible. <laughs> so two radical 15, guys, we cannot simplify that no more because radical 15, right? There is no perfect square that we could divide 15 by, okay? So it stays the same. However, with 75, we have radical 25 times radical three, and we know 25 is a perfect square. And once we simplify it, we're gonna get five radical three. So at this step, guys, we are actually done with this problem because we cannot simplify the radicals anymore and we cannot add them because there are two different numbers under the radicals. If these radicals had the same number under it, then we could go ahead and add our coefficients. But in this problem, we cannot. So quick introduction problem. Let's go on to our second problem for the day. So our second problem for the day, right? we're going to have, and it looks like I didn't write it. Let's write it in real quick. So our second problem is four plus radical three, and we're going to distribute this to two minus radical three. And with this example, to give you guys a better visualization, I'm going to use the box method because I'm just very visual. It makes it so much easier to see. So we're going to keep, uh, we're going to slide out a little bit and let's stay in white. So we have four radical three on top and then we have two and negative radical three on the side. Okay. And guys, as long as we keep what's grouped together in parentheses, right? Once we keep them together, we could, we could multiply however. So I could put four radical three on the left hand side and put two negative radical three on the top. As long as I keep what's in parentheses together, we will get the same answer. All right, so let's go through and multiply. So 2 times 4 is going to give me 8. 2 times radical 3 will give me 2 radical 3. 4 times negative radical 3 is going to give me negative 4 radical 3. And then negative radical 3 times radical 3 is going to give me negative radical nine. Okay. So now we've multiplied. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write it out in one single line so we can see if there's anything for us to combine. So we have eight plus two radical three, like I said, minus four radical three minus radical nine. So the first thing we're going to want to do is check to see if we could simplify any of our radicals. And I've noticed that we could simplify radical nine, right? That's a perfect square. So once we rewrite this, we're gonna have eight plus two radical three minus four radical three minus three. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna combine eight and three because we could just subtract those real easy. So we're simplifying this more. And matter of fact, let's just slide out to the left some more, right? So we have five plus two radical three minus four radical three. 
And if you guys remember, just a few moments ago, I said to you guys, hey, if we have the same number under the radical, we are able to combine, meaning add or subtract. So how exactly do we do that? So in this problem, when you have the same number under the radical, right? What we do is we focus on the number in front of the radical and we just add and subtract. So in this problem, I have five plus, and just remember, oops, two minus four is gonna give me a negative two. So we're gonna have five minus two. Then now the question is, what do we do with radical three? Do we subtract them? Do we add them? Do we multiply them? This is what we do. We're going to keep it the same like a variable. All right. So what that means is our final answer should be five minus two radical three. Right. And, and, and the reason why, guys, is because the radicals are going to act like a variable, like I said. So when we look at these two radicals, after we combine it, we just know we have two radical threes. So we have two radical threes, okay? That's all it is. It's the same thing as 4x plus 3x, right? It's the same concept. So our last problem for today, I want to focus on this binomial. And the reason why is because students sometimes forget to expand it. So don't think that you just square and get four radical 49 plus one, and then you simplify. No, 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 no. That is not it in this problem. What this exponent is telling us is that we're going to take this binomial and we're going to write it twice, then multiply. So this is what the problem should look like before we actually start multiplying. So I'm not going to use the box method this time, but when we go through and multiply, right, we have two radical seven times two radical seven. So two times two, that gives us four radical seven times radical seven. That gives us radical 49, right? Now we multiply two radical seven and one. So basically that's just repeating it's itself. So we just add we have two radical seven, right? Then now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna distribute from the second term into parentheses. So now I come to one. So I have one times two radical seven, which is just gonna be two radical seven. And then my last step is just one times one, which would be positive one. So now guys, we, we've gone through, we've multiplied, right? So we need to see if we can simplify and add anything. So the first thing I see is that I could add my two radical sevens. So let's, let's, let's focus on that first. So I have four radical 49 plus four radical seven plus one, right? So now we, we've combined some of our radicals. Let's see if we could simplify four radical 49. If we remember 49 is a perfect square, which will turn into seven. So in our problem now, we're going to have four times seven plus four radical seven plus one. Anytime you simplify a radical, guys, like you, if the radical is a perfect square, you're going to multiply it by any coefficient. So what I mean is 49 is a perfect square. It turns into 7. Sometimes students get confused and think they're supposed to add 4 and 7. No, 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 no. We multiply. So once we multiply, we're going to get 28 plus 4 radical 7 plus one. And at this step, the only light terms we have are our regular numbers that don't have any radicals attached. So our final answer will be 29 plus four radical seven. So hopefully you guys found this video review helpful on how to distribute and simplify radicals. I'm Mr. Peters. 
Thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, we're going to ask that you leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and just smash the like button on your way out. Thank you guys so much for joining me today.